Hi, I'm Bob Daves, and I'm a former member of the United States Air Force back in the late 70s, early 80s. I enjoyed my military experience. I learned a lot. I served in the military under President Carter. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that to nobody. We struggled then. The mil we were just coming out of Vietnam. The military wasn't respected. The military was underfunded at the time. I was in the Air Force. I was an aircraft mechanic. I can remember having to take a perfectly good part off of, an, uh, of a good airplane, put it on an airplane that had been sitting on the flight line or on, on the ramp for almost 30 days, and it couldn't sit on the line more than 30 days without a flight. So we'd take, a, we'd take I'm using an example, hydraulic pump off one good airplane, put it on the one that's broke, put a couple pilots in it, fly it around for a while, land it, take the good pump out, put it back in the good airplane while we were waiting on spare parts. You may have served during that period. Inflation was rampant. You know, it was just terrible. A lot of the military was on government assistance because our paychecks just didn't, you know, survive what we were going through economically. Well, we're almost back at it again, folks. These rosy economic numbers that you see on TV, you better dig down and look at them. But why am I looking for people who have, or in the military or former military, why am I looking for them to help and join my cause? It's really simple. Robert Kiyosaki just wrote a book. It's called Eight Lessons in Military Leadership for Entrepreneurs. And he points out, and it's a justified pointing out, that we are cultured as former people that were in the military. We were taught leadership skills from the day we hit boot camp. When we go through basic training, when we go to tech school, when we serve on our, in our jobs in the military. See, we didn't bring in outside leadership. We promoted from within. We understood hard work, long hours. I was stationed in Korea for a year. I thought 12 hours was a normal day when we were doing exercise, when we were preparing to fight against the North, the North Koreans. And the other military services are the same. We train, we train, we train, we train for the day, hopefully, that we never had to use those skills, but we were prepared. We've got to do the same thing today. The middle class is struggling. The middle class is deteriorated. When I was a kid growing up in the early 70s, the middle class made up about 60% of the population. Now, it's just barely above 40%. And it's sliding down. Why do I need military people? I need people that understand hard work, the attitude that we don't give up till we get the job done. We don't, we don't leave anybody behind. We bring everybody along. Only military people have that experience to know what to do, how to do it. They don't need, no, they don't need their hands held. You just, you just explain what you need done, it gets done. And I remember when I got out of the military and went into civilian, it's not that way. It's, oh, I'm not making enough money. I'm going to go look for another job. Oh, I don't like old Susie. I'm going to turn her into HR. <laughs> you, if you didn't get along with somebody in the military, you worked it out. Because that person beside you may have the gun that's going to keep the enemy from killing you. So folks, it's time for us in the military to put our big boy pants back on, straighten this mess up, and rescue the middle class. Only we can do it. Because everybody else wants to be mollycoddled and oh, feel good and all that. We don't put up with that BS in the military. You just go in and you get the job done. Period. And you know the job's not done till everybody is where we need them to be. We need them surviving in the middle class and we need them thriving in the middle class. And we've got, and we've got a solution for it. It's home-based businesses. We're going to train the next generation of entrepreneurs. You and I together as a military team, we're going to get the job done. But I can't do it all by myself. I wish I could. I hate to have to call you back into service, into duty. But if you want America, what you've stood up for 
in the military, especially you folks in Iraq and Iran, or uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, whenever I put your butts on the line so I could do what I'm doing right now, let me tell you what, it upsets me to no end to see people disrespect the flag. But we, we put our butts on the line to defend them, to give them the right to do it. We don't like the things that people say, but we stood up and, and defended our Constitution, and it gives them the right to do that. It's, it's, you know, it's a matter of opinion, but here's the facts. 76% of Americans right now are living paycheck to paycheck. They're one, two, three paychecks away from a complete financial disaster. And you say, Bob, what's in it for me? You're going to build a business of your own. You're going to set the example, just like our leaders in the military set examples for us. You're going to build a business. You're going to be an effective leader. You're going to build an organization. You're going to teach other people how to do it so they can depend on themselves. See, we were taught to depend on ourselves, but yet work as a team. The thing about it is our education system let us down. This new math, good Lord, that, that's a whole other video. But the thing about it is we've got the skills and the abilities to teach people what they need to do to survive. But like I said, I need your help. So look at the, the video right below. It'll explain the program that I'm going to use to help rescue the middle class with your help. I want you to join my team so together we can become a cohesive unit and we can get out there and we can help the middle class survive and thrive in this new global economy that's coming. I'm former Staff Sergeant Robert Davis. Proud to have been a veteran of the Air Force, but I salute my brothers in the, in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, active duty, National Guard, Air Reserves, and every component of the military. We got the job done when we were in, but I need your help to help the folks that are out there in the economy that need our help. Thanks for listening.